Every year, Greenland loses more ice than it gains in snow. We are here boating past the icebergs and at least seven whales to find out what's really going on. I'm the luckiest scientist in the world right now. That's Dr. Josh Willis from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. That's his DC-3 research plane. These glacier hunters are on a mission called Oceans Melting Greenland, or OMG for short. We'll be flying over and down into the fjord, basically a giant canyon carved out by an ancient glacier. The water around Greenland is a layer cake. Greenland's melting because the air is warming, but it's also melting because the ocean is warming. You see there's cold, fresh water on top, and those are melted icebergs that crack off from the glaciers, and another layer of warm water deep underneath. Literally, tropical water that somehow finds its way up here following ocean currents, staying just warm enough to cause chaos. When it hits the glaciers at depth, it melts them like crazy. Ironically, the best way to explore the deep subarctic waters is to fly over it, dropping probes out of this tube. They sink to the bottom, measuring how warm and salty the water is at every level. I gotta tell you, this is one of the most breathtaking, awe-inspiring things I've ever seen flying just about 700 feet above the surface. Watch as the shadow of the plane just rolls over these icebergs. And remember, you're only seeing the tip of each one. Most of it lies underwater. Even the tiny ones weigh at least a thousand tons. We're gonna drop a probe right there, and then we're gonna start flying out right along the canyon, dropping probes as we go, all the way into the ocean. Some of those canyons are now extremely deep holes underneath the sea surface, meaning some of these glaciers not only tower into the sky, but they also extend thousands of feet below the surface of the water. Warm water, plenty warm enough to melt a whole lot of ice. It still stays warm when it gets here. That's right. Science says without a doubt, greenhouse gases have been building up since the industrial age started burning fossil fuels. Most of the warming that's going on happens out at sea. Here's a look at the ocean heat increasing just since 1995, warming the surface and down deep. Sunlight gets in, heat doesn't get back out. So we're literally trapping it just like a greenhouse and it's heating up the entire planet. Pieces that are breaking off are getting bigger and they're breaking off faster and faster, more quickly than the snow can replenish it on the surface of the ice sheet. There's two main types of icebergs, frozen sea ice from the North Pole that does not create sea level rise and broken glaciers from here. It's those broken glaciers from the land that causes the sea level to rise. We're flying to the south right now. We're coming along this pink line. There goes one of those probes right now, one of at least 250 around Greenland. It hits the surface and starts transmitting. Drop, drop, drop. Each one of these probes, and there goes one right there, gives us a better understanding of how the meltdown here affects us back home.